Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to A New Point of View, our digital edition of Linea Pelle Fair in A New Point of View. Today is Wednesday, 5th of August, and we are so pleased to introduce a topic webinar focused on the presentation of innovation basics and responsibility and sustainability of three very interesting companies. Today, we have Alberto Rosi, Giardini, and Finotex. So, Alberto Rosi is here represented today with Andrea, Massimiliano, and Sara. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi everyone. Hi, welcome here. Where are you now? Thank you. We are in our warehouse in uh, Toscany, near Salto uh -huh. And uh, welcome to everyone. Uh, we would like to spend a few words for our company to introduce ourselves. We are a leather agency company established in 1975. We are located, as I said, uh, near Santa Croce, one of the main districts of the leather in Italy. Uh, our company uh, basically is uh, com uh, we are uh, we are eight people inside the company. We are four vendors and four people inside the office. We have uh, our main suppliers that are located all around the world, from Pakistan, India, Morocco, Italy, Ethiopia, and other countries. Uh, our company is uh, mainly focused, as I said, as a leather agency company. We are uh, uh, making many, many things for our client. One of these is uh, the materi material and trend research. We are able to industrialize a new article in our uh, tanneries. We can follow up the production because we have uh, some inspector all, all around the world. So we can have a quality control before shipment. And of course, we are always here for uh, any kind of issue for a uh, fast problem solving. Okay, very interesting. So, yeah. what yeah. about sustainability? We have been always careful uh, to the ethical and uh, environmental issues, and uh, we personally visited all our suppliers around the world. And uh, all of them are able uh, to release the rich certification, and some of them is already audited the uh, LWG, and some others is going to do. Uh, one of our uh, main products that we would like to introduce is uh, our leather for lining. As I said, uh, we have different suppliers, so we are able to supply cow, sheep, uh, goat, uh, and buffalo lining. And we have some uh, special product, of course, that is uh, metal-free, some is uh, water repellent, and uh, some of this material is uh, produced by LWG tanneries, as I already said. Uh, our, these are uh, some pictures of uh, our main article. This is something on goat, uh, then we have something on sheep. Uh, and uh, basically, as I said, we have a, a good collection of lining uh, that uh, you can find in uh, our catalog that is uh, always available here uh, in our office for our clients. There you can find uh, all the articles with uh, all the details inside. So you can have a look of the thickness, uh, the kind of sites of the leather, which kind of material we are using, and also the uh, physical uh, characteristic of uh, each kind of line. So Regardless, here we are yeah. seeing, here we are also seeing some of the lining collection that you are talking about. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, for uh, what regarding the finished articles that is mainly going for upper for shoes, we are mainly focused on shoes. We have created a uh, uh, few months ago uh, the new uh, division of our company. The name is uh, 2.1. And here we are in collaboration with four of our main suppliers, starting from Pakistan, India, Morocco, and Italy itself, where we are producing uh, uh, some kind of a special product, I want to say. Of course, based on the raw material that the, each tannery is able to procure locally. Uh, one of the first articles that uh, we would like to show you now is the article Laguna. This is one article completely full page, washed and with uh, very good varnish ethics. Yeah, so I suggest then, uh, our uh, to click twice on the little screen 
so they can see Alberto Rossi SRL, so they can see in a better way uh, the ladder. Yes, exactly. And here you can have a look of how easy it is to burnish this article. We can have a look and we have also some shoes where you can uh, release how is the finished product. So this means that sometimes you also test the ladder making some finished products. Yes, of course. We used to test our ladder in collaboration in some cases with our clients, in other cases with the designer, because we are in collaboration with many designers uh, located maybe in Italy, where they select our own article to make their own trials. So they help us also to understand if the article is properly made or not. Then uh, in our collection, we have also another article. This one is Praia. This is also in a full veg article that we are producing uh, uh, in India with uh, one of our main suppliers, as I said before. It's a little bit uh, full up effect. And uh, this is also one of the core articles that we are producing now. So, can now. you move a little bit so we can see the, the soft pull up effect? You can see now. Yes, much better. Yes. Okay. This is also one full veg material that we are producing. The next one is an article also that we are studying in full veg goat. The name of the article is Quebec, and is a very nice article in terms of pull up and very easy to burnish whenever you make a shoes or something. You know, this is, uh, was used also by some client for bags. Interesting. Okay, and you are the shoes. So I, I understand that better using his uh, boots, casual boots. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like a cowboy style. <laughs> cowboy style, correct. And this is one, uh, also another article that uh, we are presenting in the new season, for the new season, is one uh, not only embossed, but uh, the deepness of the print is uh, very nice. You can see the double tone. This was used also for bags. Can be used also for bags, I mean. How is the feeling when you touch it? Feeling is like very good body, this leather, because as I said, it's a full veg material. So the advantage of this leather is the body. And also this veg material has a little bit memory. Okay. So, so that is the characteristic of the full veg material. Then another article that we are presenting in the, in the new season is one article that we call it Bryson. Bryson is a special article because uh, we are working here also in free metal. So uh, we are basically uh, producing many articles in line with metal, but nowadays the request is much more. So uh, some clients is asking us to produce also the upper. And our supplier are able to do that. Okay, so free metal, uh, it's something very well requested from the market right now, which yeah. is the response of your clients until now. Yeah, as I said, we have actually we have much more requests in terms of lining material, but from the past one year, uh, uh, the people is starting to ask more and more also for the upper material. Okay, so interesting this. Yeah. And uh, after that, we have another article. The name is Bryce. Is one article made on what? Uh, and the beauty of this article is the lightness of the article. We are able to produce shoes, our clients that are very light, so also very comfortable because the leather is very soft itself. Apology of shoes, it's perfect for this type of uh, okay. leather. Thank you, that's good. And then another article that we are, uh, is one of the core articles of our company for Upper is Derby S. Derby S is one uh, special ship that we are producing uh, actually in India. Uh, and uh, the clients that are buying this kind of material are clients uh, from uh, mainly from Germany. 
and from Italy, where they are using uh, to apply cream on the shoes because their absor absorption is uh, very good, so they can make uh, homemade shoes. Okay. Then we have uh, our articles on cow that are, uh, in terms of sites, of course, are more suitable for a long boot or something like that, where the consumption is more. We are producing this material on uh, Mar in Morocco, where uh, is located also one of our main supplier. The first article that you can see the where you can see in the picture, but also here in the video, is our article Mazagan. is a very soft nappa and uh, where the look is a semi-shine look. So it's for one kind of boots that uh, are uh, like dressy boots, but uh, to have a good look. So what about the thickness in this case? Thickness normally from uh, Morocco, we, this article we are producing in one, 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 two. Basically this is the main quantity that we can uh, achieve in uh, Morocco. We can also have there some material that have high thickness like 1618. So this is just a small presentation of some of the articles that uh, we can produce there. And now we are going to present Rabat, that is also cow. This is a very soft nappa with a very aniline touch. So it's very natural and the milling effect, uh, thanks to the milling effect, also the body is very, is coming out very good. These also can be used for bags or for shoes. Of course, in case of bags request, we need to apply a little bit different finishing for the test, for the fixing and everything. Yeah, and I've seen also the look, it's semi, semi shiny, it's yes. not bright, so it can be also for fine shoes. Exactly, exactly. We prefer to keep semi shiny because all of these articles can absorb cream or can be brushed. So you can uh, reach your own uh, standard of the shyness, whatever you want. Well, we can see from your picture. Yeah. Uh, regarding the leather for garment, this is one of the new items I want to say. We are uh, studying about this project since long and now we are uh, almost ready. We, are, uh, we started the production of garment uh, leather in Italy. Uh, our main focus will be the, to maintain a high level quality leather for this kind of product especially. And the production, as I said, will be made in Italy. We are also in this case working, we have different kind of articles. Now we are just presenting one. And uh, we are in collaboration with some designer also for garment that is giving us some suggestions in terms of article, color, and everything. Of course, uh, Albert Rosi, like, like all the company nowadays, is uh, uh, very focused uh, on making research in a new leather technology. Uh, in this time, we are uh, working on biodegradable leather and free aldehyde leather. The degradable is something that is coming uh, in demand now in the market. It's not easy to achieve uh, all the tests, but we are uh, very close. I mean, we reached the test and we will be ready in uh, September with uh, the new presentation of biodegradable leather, where it's done it all with organic material. So that's why we are able to give the insurance, the assurance to our clients that uh, it will be biodegradable. And the free aldehyde is also one very important research that we are doing because nowadays, as you said, free metal is in demand, but all free metal leather is made with aldehyde. That, that is a, a dangerous product inside the, the tannery. So we are developing this new system where we avoid to use aldehyde, so it will be much better for, of course, for the tannery and for everyone, everything. Wow, interesting. So this means that you work very close with every tanneries and you develop researches with all of them. So protecting the consumer request. Yes, basically uh, our straight uh, good collaboration is with, with many chemical companies that are located in Santa Cruz, of course, and they are helping us to develop these new products. 
Okay. And after that, we set up in our tanneries, in the tanneries of our suppliers. Okay, so I also understand that you are preparing something for September? Yeah. yeah. So this means that, I, first of all, I want to thank because you introduced very well your topic uh, products, but I want to also invite you, invite all the participants to attend our next September, a new point of view, because for sure, we are curious to see all of your new researches that you presented to us by now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We will Thank do you. our best and sure we will work on that to achieve our target. Perfect. So Andrea, Massimiliano and Sara, so thank you for this. And we wait you okay. in September. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks to Thank all you. of you to watch you. us, to watch, to follow us. And uh, you can follow us in our uh, social network, uh, LinkedIn and Instagram. There you will find uh, some news. Okay, perfect for this. Thank you very much. I suggest to the other participants to uh, stay connected because now we, we want to introduce uh, the second company. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Bye. bye, -bye. Ta <laughs> so now we are just waiting to invite uh, the second company. So we are welcoming Giardini. So in a very few seconds, Giardini will be connected with us. And also Giardini, it's uh, presenting to us a new innovation. Oh, Serafino is with us. Hi, Serafino. You can unmute your microphone. Um, so I think now it's working. Good morning to all. Is it working now? Yes, for sure, it's okay. working. We can okay. listen to you. Okay, perfect. So let me introduce myself. I'm Serafino Acquaviva from company Giardini, Italy. And we are producers of synthetics for the fashion industry and also sports and professional shoes. Um, located in Vigevano, uh, in the outskirts of Milan, uh, where we have two production facilities plus our logistics. Uh, but at the same time, since we are a strongly globalized uh, industry, we also have logistics in the Far East, uh, specifically in Shanghai and in Hong Kong, where we also serve the local, um, uh, the local industry that is basically connected to European and uh, North American companies. Um, as I was saying, we are basically in the fashion industry, and as any company in the fashion industry, we develop uh, two collections per year, uh, spring, summer, and fall, winter. Um, we are certified ISO 9001 for our quality management system. Um, uh, at the same time, we have, we have um, two other major certifications that we'd like to show to our customers. One is for the, our policies regarding the safety and health of our workers. And one is our policy ISO 14. 001 regarding our environmental safety policies and this allows me to introduce what is I believe our major topic uh, what is the magic word today sustainability um, we are in the fashion industry sustainability has become more and more of a hot topic and we have focused our investments our researches um, in, uh, in this field here in particular, in the development of sustainable items. Um, let me show, let me turn this webcam around. Yes, I stopped sharing so we okay, can see. Here it goes, I'm just, just to show some things we made. Well, okay, we have, of course, a full range of items for the fashion industry that embraces all of the colors, textures, and trends uh, that the market requires in this moment. Um, but especially, as I was saying, we are uh, investing very deeply in all that regards sustainable items. Uh, we have already developed two collections of this, and we will be developing more and more, introducing new technologies every time. Um, so I'm talking about water-based polyurethanes, um, in some cases where um, solvents are necessary to be used in our productions. 
We have embraced technologies that are able to uh, break down uh, the solvents we use to the lowest limits you can find on the market. In many cases, recycled fibers used in our substrates. And lately, this is our brand new introduction, our so-called biopolyurethanes. Um, in a few words, these are polyurethanes obtained from sustainable sources, for example, castor oil. And uh, all of our items are, um, um, can, uh, can uh, have one or more of these technologies in there. Each of the items have the symbols that represent the technology uh, that is being uh, offered in that specific item. And we are introducing all of these technologies on more and more of our articles. Uh, one day, very soon, we believe that our 100% of our production will be sustainable, meaning that uh, we will avoid the use of solvents, uh, we would use more and more recycled fibers, uh, and uh, especially we will use more and more of our so-called biopolyurethanes. Uh, these same technologies are also used on our professional line, um, means microfibers and technical fabrics for the pro shoe industry. These are just some examples of what we do here. So we're talking micro suede, microfibers coated in various different ways, textures, colors, uh, and, and so on. Serafino, can I ask you to stop a little bit more on yes. the microfiber? I'm uh, sorry. see this, otherwise you are too fast. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right, you're right. Um, yeah. These are some micro suede, for examples. Yeah. Um, for which we offer several qualities mm -hmm. and uh, several different thicknesses, starting from 0.5 all the way up to 2.2. And they embrace any need um, in, in, in the shoe industry. Great. In some cases, these microfibers are coated. Yeah. It's coated. Different textures. Yeah, which is the effect of the coating? So I've seen something. This is white one. This is, well, this is one of our standard items, for example, and this is a Napa green okay. in color white, okay. for example. But as I was saying, um, any texture is available, textures and colors, and we tend to bring our know-how from the fashion industry also into these uh, technical items. With Over here, I'm sorry? With fluorescent colors, I see. Yes. Well, these are some of the latest trends here, of course. Um, a lot yeah. of fantasies made on microfibers, on fabrics, uh, metallics, plain or embossed with mirror effects, mm -hmm. printings. Everything that has to do with the fashion industry can be found also on our synthetic materials. Um, we are well known to be uh, a company that, uh, a trend making company, I'm sorry, that's probably the correct way to say it. Uh, but at the same time, we are also open to customizations. So customers with us most likely find a partner with whom to develop the ideas they have um, besides finding whatever ideas are on the, uh, what, whatever upcoming ideas are on the market. Okay. Well, Serafino, what about some of the new highlight trends you want to anticipate to us? Maybe you already prepare over the table. Um, some of the latest trends. Well, we have some fantasies, of course, that are always on the market. These fluorescent materials are still a hot, um, a hot item. We offer them in plain, smooth surfaces and also with some textures, some embossed textures. I don't know if you can, if the, if the webcam can show yeah. it. Quickly. Very slow, we can see the texture of the yellow one. Okay, we can see the dots effect. These are some of the hottest items lately. Um, 
patents are always on the market and for the next winter season it will be another hot trend also because what we believe uh, of this moment of uncertainty that is on the, on the market due to this chaotic situation so we have noticed that customers eventually are looking for like some standard things but nevertheless next to what our standard uh, they can also find anything that is um that has fantasies to it or some fancy topics and so on yeah we can see i also see some flowers so flowers like printing or files exactly this is a flower print that we have applied on our metallic called lemme it is a, a mirror effect that you can see here on which we uh, we have applied this digital print this flowers digital print and you can have fun with this with items like this uh, this shoe here Yes, right. And what do you think we ask some of your clients right now? What they prefer most? So in the fashion. Sus absolutely sustainability. We can talk fashion if we want, but whenever you talk about sustainability, that's like a hot button. Okay. So right. this is absolutely what, uh, what we are investing on. And I was saying before, we uh, are, rather than uh, investing on new items, we have picked up our standard collection and we have introduced all of these new technologies into them. And this is actually what people are looking for. And most likely the sensibility towards, um, towards this topic has become stronger, even due to the situation that has gone on in this crazy 2020. Um, <laughs> Everybody wants to do their part to save the world. Everybody wants to do something um, to give a final product to consumers to to, to allow them to be to be a part uh, to be a part of this too. This is what everybody is actually asking for in this moment. Yeah, correct. I see. And so, for this reason, you invested more in this latest month to. I don't know, I can see this kind of tags. So maybe improve the different types of uh, sustainability elements. So if a designer want to have some trustability uh, notes, so can you provide to them something like information? All of our items, yes. On all of our items, um, uh, the raw materials can be tracked uh, we are GRS certified. Um, w once again, the policies, uh, our environmental policy is certified. Our biopolyurethanes are certified. So we can guarantee whatever we give to customers that what we declare is actually what the material is, what they will, what they will get. Correct. Interesting. So, Serafino, I think that he was in a perfect time to show us many interesting things. I really, I really agree that the sustainability aspect has to be treated in a serious way, as you show us right now. I, am, I understand that all of the people that participate right now, they can also be in contact with you directly in your website and to ask and request uh, i think samples or and for sure i invite everyone to attend next september a new point of view where we can finally touch and see physically many products for, but for those who cannot travel to italy we can provide again this type of conversation Absolutely. I would like to, um, I would like to add to, to this conversation one last information. By September, since you mentioned um, the upcoming events, by September, Giardini will also be online with a digital catalog. Um, this will allow customers through our website uh, to uh, take contact with us, have a look at our full collection. That means all of our items, and we have more than 300 items in our line. Um, they will be able to have an idea of the colors that we are proposing, the textures. Uh, there will be descriptions with uh, some technical details regarding. 
And at that point, um, customers will know what we offer and can contact us asking specifically for samples or color palettes of what, of what they can find on our website. This will be ready by September when we will launch our new website. Okay, correct. So thanks because we answer to one of the question that was, is there any website? Yes, of course, but Jolini yes. will present the, the one. Yes, and the website is www.giardini.com. Perfect, thanks. So we answer to one of the participants. So grazie, thank you so much, Serafino. Okay. Uh, thank you, thank you. To and thanks for everybody that was attending. Thank you very much. So I invite all the attendees now to stay connected because I want to introduce the next uh, company for today, which is uh, Spinotex. So in a very few seconds, uh, two person of Spinotex uh, will be connected. Luca is already here. Hi, Luca, welcome. Yes, hello, welcome to all. And uh, should uh, I also, Stefania, also if uh, she's in New York uh, and they had uh, the problem yesterday with uh, electricity for a tornado, so in a small tornado in uh, her uh, area. I, I can start, uh, I hope she, she should be able to connect. Yes, maybe Luca, you can start to share your screen. So we can see your presentation and the introduction of your presentation. Is that, is that good for you? Uh, yes. Sir. Yes. Okay. So in that in the meantime, uh, we will have also the second speaker. Yes. Well, we uh, are presenting now the new webinars for the collection fall for next year. Uh, we first time for virtual fair, so we hope uh, we'll be okay. And uh, we are working on this. Can to you, please, can may we ask you to open in the presentation screen? So it will be much easier. So for everyone, presentazione, it's okay. Presentazione, you go. It's okay. Oh, oh, is the guy also? Is the guy also Stefania? Ah, uh, Stefania, welcome. Okay. How are you? I'm sorry, something was going on. I could hear both of you, but I couldn't um, speak. How's everybody? Good morning. Good morning. So I'm not really sure what Luca said already, but was he given a little presentation on phenotax? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you want me to was take over? Speaker? Yes, on our uh, future. So, uh, if you want to start to speak about uh, this uh, two important uh, concept that we want to develop. Yes. So, I don't know if Luca had said this because I got disconnected, but I wanted to give you a little brief summary on uh, who Phenotex is. They've been in business since 1977. It's a family owned business. They produce high quality webbing and they sell globally to uh, the fashion industry. And particularly, I wanted to point out two, uh, the strengths of Phenotex, and two in particular. One is that they're environmentally conscientious, and they've always been. And as a company operating in the region of Lombardy, um, in the north of Italy, near Milano, um, this region is a leading region in Italy um, that for the protection of the environment. And, Sustainability has always been one of their focus. And um, so Phenotex is also always participating in the sustainability and always maintaining their, um, their creativity at the same time. And the second point that I wanted to make was that I know we live in a digital world now because of COVID and we have to work via websites, we're Zoom meetings or WhatsApp meetings, but um, Phenotex has always operated in this way, so there's nothing new. Um, this new format is not really new to Phenotex, so that's an advantage, because they've always um, operated with their customers via digital. 
So these are the two things that I wanted to point out before we get into uh, the actual company. So do you want to say something about the sustainability, Luca? Yes, sir. Uh, this is the main point of uh, we want the developer, we now have to make a big investment in the solar panels for the, our company. And uh, so this is for our building, uh, we work in this way, but also on the, for example, the single yarn, so the single material. So all of the yarn that we buy are uh, rich, uh, respect the rich regulation, that is one of the, the most important uh, regulation uh, in Europe. And uh, all our suppliers need uh, to have uh, this, uh, this uh, certification, if uh, otherwise we cannot buy the yarn. Also, we work always uh, trying to searching uh, new uh, friendly natural yarns like lean and youth uh, wool and to use uh, on the wagons that can be also useful for customers. And uh, the last uh, two points that we have introduced are the recycled polyester. So it's the recycled polyester 100% made in Italy from uh, plastic bottles. Eight, uh, now I don't want to read all, but uh, like you can see, it uh, produces saving of uh, energy, of uh, CO2, and also of uh, water consumption, mainly the water. You save 90% of uh, water producing uh, one kilogram of this yarn. Uh, instead, for example, 20 liters, uh, you save uh, around 55 liters of water using this yarn. And we started to develop for the plain webbings, for the stripes, for the jacquard, which is also another details, uh, trying to offer the customers uh, not only the basic webbings, but the uh, most complete offer. And the second is the organic cottons, uh, GOTS. Uh, that means that the certification is double, so for the production, uh, certification and also for all of the operation and mainly for the dyeing. So also when the supplier here in Italy dye the yarn, it uh, can be made only with natural enzymes. So we have all the certification for all the from when the yarn is produced until when it's uh, uh, colored. And also here uh, we try also to introduce this in our webbings and uh, to offer customers different options for different uses. And look, I can see also, yes. look, I can see plenty of colors. So how many colors can you have in this, uh, in your goat's organic cotton? Alors, this is, for example, is the basic color card of suppliers. And we try each season to add a new color. So we start to begin with two, three colors. Now we are with eight and nine colors. And also we offer uh, to customers each season uh, some uh, additional colors for a uh, complete uh, collection and uh, increase the range of color uh, possible. This uh, we make for the organic and also for the polyester. Interesting. And this is the second, sec uh, second concept because Stefania won't, uh, uh, he has already explained something before uh, for the possibility to develop also online uh, samples. And uh, we try to work to following the request of customer. So, uh, for example, we produce uh, all the samples also for small quantity, the 50 meters, and uh, increasing uh, also the offer. For example, this is the last uh, loom that uh, we bought that uh, permit to produce a wider web in uh, 45 centimeters. So, uh, like for make one bag, you can make the bag directly with the webbing. And uh, it is another also very wide, there is 18 uh, centimeter, uh, seven inch. And uh, so we try to offer this uh, different, uh, this uh, choice to the customers uh, for the striped colors, for the weave, and uh, also for other two concepts that are important for us that are the uh, jacquard webs, so we personalize the logo, the different yarns that uh, we have around uh, different, uh, uh, 15 different uh, uh, quality of yarn that supplier can use. I will not uh, read all, but we have a lot here. And the jacquard that are very popular in this moment, these are some details, so you can mix uh, different yarns 
on the web in from one to eight centimeter, and you can make your logo, your uh, symbol, your name, and use the information of the suspenders, if you use uh, examples, or for, uh, sorry, for uh, shooters, or for make elastic for suspenders, or uh, rigid for belts, so for different uh, uses. And the last, uh, we offer also to suppliers the possibility to make uh, and uh, a final elaboration of our weddings. So, uh, for example, to make uh, destroyed uh, laser uh, print with silicon, uh, sublimation print, dye and washed, or print uh, effective, or give only examples. So, uh, suppliers can uh, create uh, very unique items to have uh, only in their shops. This is our idea to have uh, one item that uh, they only have and which they can also. Yeah, the idea is to provide some 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 um, webbing to customers for them to then use their own creativity to um, make their own version of the webbing. You know, there's yeah, always the ones that we keep in stock and that we have a standard, but then the creativity is uh, infinite. You know, you can create whatever you want. So I want to just ask something because yeah. I, I really think that this is an incredible, beautiful way to, uh, you can pick your ingredients. I've seen plenty of yarns that designer can pick and then plenty of finishing. And uh, personalization is something very requested lately. Yeah. Uh, what about you now? So uh, did you see some more increasing of this kind of request? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, the main request now is with each customer who want uh, his design. Is all, also, if it's a basic, cast, basic item, but uh, they want the stripe in their colors, and they need to make some personalization that they are sure to have uh, only in uh, this on their products, and it's different from the competitors. Something unique. And, uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. So this means that uh, inside of the company, you are very flexible and prepared to receive all types of requests and react in a very fast way. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Go ahead, Luca. But I was saying that as, as we said before, at the beginning of the presentation, one of the strengths of Phenotext is doing this di digitally, even before we had the problem with the COVID. You know, we always uh, work with the customers long distance because he works globally, so. And the, and the turnaround time, I know Luca didn't really mention it, but it's, uh, it's also fast. It's around three weeks to um, develop your own uh, webbing. Go ahead, Luca, I'm sorry. Yes, three, four weeks, we make that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's also a lot of uh, things uh, to make uh, to define for the customer. So also sometimes it's also difficult for customers accept some uh, weeks more for delivery, but we try to make it the best. Yeah. And so yeah, we are making a, a trend fall. Um, they now it is a, uh, after uh, as explained before uh, after each customer has its color, so it is a general. Now, all, uh, a lot of uh, these uh, trends we have already explained before, so we not have to <laughs> reply the recyclated, the cotton organic, the jacquard, uh, the wire strap webbings. These are the colors that we are trying to use in the sour webbings. So, on um, the tones of uh, gray, green, the brown, uh, something blue, and uh, the light uh, accent in uh, yellow, green, violet, uh, red. And uh, for example, like, uh, we have one of our trends that we are trying to, uh, to develop is for the chenille yarn uh, that uh, yeah, we use in, uh, in a jacquard tie design uh, with an idea of make uh, a belt with a fringe effect or a classic belt also on the backs. So it's a yarn that we have developed in 10 colors. Uh, here is again a chenille stripe washed also for the more softer touch on uh, six centimeter for wider webbing. And also for the winter, we use the wool, that is uh, always uh, sometimes uh, requested, 
in uh, also yeah, more than classic uh, four centimeter. And yeah, we have developed some uh, stripes in uh, two, three, four colors for uh, always printer colors, but in a uh, patient combination. And uh, this is the concept of a wider webbing, not so large like uh, before uh, in uh, 18 or 35 uh, centimeter, more uh, classic like five, uh, six centimeters, always with uh, colors like we have seen uh, before. Uh, for example, it is an idea of uh, shoulder. And we offer also customers, for example, the possibility for, example, for hardware that is not so easy to find for uh, six centimeters. Like a service to the customer, we offer also this uh, to give the webbing, and also if they want uh, something hardware, it's possible. This is other concept, uh, ethnic look. We are starting to work in, on uh, this uh, for when I develop again in September for the last other Lignapelle here uh, in Milan. It is a different uh, concept, always with uh, more colors. Uh, example here is uh, used for a bath or for a shoulder. And uh, also we are request, we are seeing uh, uh, demands for the hand on a look, so the classic uh, in a fishbone, or also with uh, more colors, uh, with uh, washed multicolor in different width is uh, 3.5, 4, 5. So it can be used for different uh, bags, for example. Yeah. It is one of the last concepts that we are uh, developing is the Melange. Also here made with Jacquard, so it's uh, again also more difficult uh, to copy and uh, offer a lot of chance to personalize the colors. Uh, Tartan is a classic that uh, the seam is also come back here is in a wider weave uh, with different color combination. And the last is the velvet uh, that we propose uh, plain or also printed. So, so the possibility for the, for the customer to print the velvet with this design and that's and have a, so a unique uh, item so to show to his uh, customer. And this is our stand that we hope to receive a customer quickly. <laughs> we don't know in uh, well, probably next month in uh, Milan or New York. And uh, for finish is our contacts. Uh, so our email from the office here in Italy, uh, email from Stefania in the USA, also for uh, UK uh, to Georgia, that uh, is our agent for London. This is okay. for the the finish of our presentation. Yeah, I also wanted to add that they have a very comprehensive website. It's fantastic. Uh, most of the images you saw there, you will find on the website. And, uh, you know, you can go on it and review anything. And if you have any answers, you can get in touch with us. If you have any questions, sorry. <laughs> of course. Uh, let me say that was really a brilliant presentation. I seen a lot of creativity so really it's a lot of creativity so i guess that the thanks to your product we will have so many unique uh, items a unique uh, uh, pieces so i want also to invite every one of the participants for next september because in the next upcoming september we will have the physical event in Milan, but we will still go ahead with a digital yeah. <laughs> way to interact and present. So thanks, Luca, and thanks, uh, Stefania, really Thank so you. much. Thanks to all the participants. This was our last uh, presentation before the upcoming vacation, uh, August vacation, but we are so uh, pleased to have you here again in one month, maybe less than one month, something like this. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you okay. Thanks to all of them. And have a wonderful vacation. Yes. Grazie Luca, grazie Stefania, okay. grazie mille. Bye bye. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.